In this video, I show how to create the paper text cutout effect using Affinity Photo. It's actually a really easy effect to create, requiring two or three layers and a few adjustments. It's also totally non-destructive and completely scalable. It could be used for many projects, I think. And of course, you don't have to just stick with text. You could use any shapes you like. There really is no limit. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and find it useful. If you do, then please like and subscribe. And if you check the description below, you can find a link to the Affinity Photo file associated with this tutorial. Just a note before we get started, if you open up your Assistant Manager here, we have various settings. At the bottom here, where it says Adding Filter Layer to Selection, you need to set this to Add Filter as New Layer for the filter that we add at the end to appear in the right place within the layer stack. Otherwise, it will appear as a child of the text and you won't get the correct results. You'll have to manually move it yourself to the top of the layer stack. It's just one of the ways that Affinity Photo allows you to organize your adjustments and filters as you add them. Okay, now that's out of the way, let's get started. Okay, first things first, let's create a new file, File and New. And just make sure the width is 1920 and the height is 1080. These sizes do need to be right for this tutorial, as the parameters that are typed into the Layer Effects panel are resolution dependent. And once we have our image resolution set, 1920 by 1080 and click OK. We need to have some colour for the lettering to appear on. The easiest way to fill the screen with colour is to go to Layer and choose New Fill Layer. Now to set the colour of the fill layer, make sure you're on your colour tab and make sure you have RGB selected in the list here. And in the RGB boxes here, type 100 215 and 255 and that will give you this really nice cyan colour which looks really nice for this effect. Ok, let's add some text and for this we'll use the Artistic Text Tool. So click on this and make sure you have the Artistic Text Tool selected. Then click and drag to about that size. Then just type any word you like, or words. I'll type the first word that comes into my head. There we go, I've no idea why I chose that word. Then select the Move tool and centre the text. And it makes it much easier to centre things if you have the automatic snapping on, which is this little icon here. And now I think the effect looks better with thicker text, so to make the text thicker, all we do is go up here and change from regular to bold. OK, I see setting the text to bold has made each letter thicker, so change the width, so I think I'd better just reposition it. I think this effect looks best when the text is exactly the same colour as the backdrop. It really seems to enhance the effect. As I have my text selected, I could just type in the RGB values, but I'm going to quickly grab the colour picker, drag it over to the backdrop and let go. And now the colour picker value is the same as the background, so all I have to do is to click on it once to change the text colour. And that makes the text invisible, but don't worry, we'll soon be sorting that out. And now, for the magic. We're going to turn this invisible text into text that looks like paper. We'll use layer effects. Go down to the layer effects icon and click it. And here we have the layer effects panel. Choose outer shadow and then make sure we have the checkbox ticked. And then we're going to just fill in the various parameters. 
change the blend mode here from multiply to normal, move the opacity slider all the way to 100, radius leave at zero, offset type in 1.1, intensity 100%, this will keep the edge nice and sharp even if we decide to increase the radius. Then click on the colour box and bring the RGB sliders all the way to 255. And that gives us nice white sharp edging. Now the angle I will leave as it is at 315 it looks absolutely fine. And if it isn't at 315 for some reason then set it to 315 and leave Fill Knocks Out Shadow set. Next we want to create the shadow, so select Inner Shadow to bring up the parameters and then set the checkbox. The Blend Mode can be left at Multiply, that's fine. Set the Opacity to 38%. Next comes the Radius, which we set to 21.5 pixels like so and then set the offset to 28.4 these are values that I experimented with earlier so they should work the intensity can be just left at zero the color can be left at black and the angle can be left at 315 and there we have our cutout with its shadow on the backdrop that's looking really nice as if the light comes from top left, creates a little highlight on the edges and a shadow underneath. Okay, that's looking really effective, but now I'd like to create the slight raising effect to make it look just a bit more like paper. To do this, we select Bevel and Emboss, select the text to bring up the parameters, and then select the checkbox. First we Go over to the type and set it to outer. Select outer from the drop down menu. Then the radius set to 57.7. I think that would just be about right. Though I suppose 57 would work. You can be a little forgiving with the radius. The depth, leave it as it is. And the soften, just leave it at zero. Don't touch the invert or remove profile. That needs to stay the same. The direction wants to be 135 and 45, so the light's coming from top left, which is where it is. That looks absolutely spot on. The next thing to look at are the highlights and the shadows. We need to soften the effect, make it really subtle. Okay, first of all, click on the highlights color here. And once the little dialog box pops up, just set the opacity to 19%. Then the highlight becomes really, really soft. Next, once we're done, just click away from the dialog to get rid of it, like so, and click on the shadow color. And when this dialog pops up, just type in 12% for the opacity. And there we go, now we have those lovely raised edges. It's looking more and more like paper. And with just those three layer effects, we have a really nice cutout effect. It really does look sort of papery. All done with just shading. Let's just get rid of our layer effects panel and move to the last stage. We'll add the final touch now to make it look more like paper. And to do this, we need noise. Select our live filters here and choose add noise here and in the intensity just type 12 turn monochromatic off make sure it's on gaussian and opacity 100 percent and we're done we now have a really nice paper text cutout effect why don't you download the associated affinity photo project file and play with it yourself you may improve it